Collecting the Zonite armor in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is definitely a priority you'll want to add to your list due to its unique ability to save on battery power when using all sorts of Zonai vehicles. Let's show you exactly where to find these three pieces of the new Zonite armor and detail the secret ability within. Welcome back everyone, it's Abdali here with another tips and tricks tutorial video for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today is all about the Zonite armor. Yes, stop what you're doing and get this armor, especially if you're exploring the depths or you find yourself using a lot of Zonite items in order to fly places because odds are you're running out of battery and you're downing all those Zonite charges. So stop that and watch this video. We've got a step-by-step -step tutorial showing exactly where the three pieces are at and of course we're going to detail the secret ability that you get whenever you up it. So stick around, let's jump into it. If the video helped you out, be sure to share it with a friend. In order to get the Zonite Waste Guard, you'll need to make your way up to the West Nakluta Sky Archipelago, directly north of the Thundercloud and southeast from the Great Sky Island. Fly down to the area where the Flux Construct is and you'll notice three floating platforms and a bunch of rockets. Gather as many of the rockets as you can and place them on the floating platform, but don't glue them or else all of them will launch at the same time. Line up the rocket so that it'll launch you upwards and towards the huge island in the sky that resembles a castle to the northeast. If you're able to make it high enough, there's a waterfall that you can equip your Zora armor on and swim upwards. When you land, you'll see another floating platform with a few rockets on it, so do the exact same thing as you did before in order to cross it. Don't waste your time climbing to the top as you'll see an entrance directly in front of you with a glowing green hand pad to activate. Upon activating it, you'll see the different smokestacks start blowing air vertically. Ride your way to the top of the tower with your glider and find a central entrance that you'll need to dive through lasers in order to reach the bottom. Feel free to activate the shrine over here so you can warp back if needed. Directly behind the shrine is a small lava pool and a wall in which you'll need to climb up and into a secret compartment. So grab whatever water items you have, a splash fruit can work in this instance, then align the stone slab to allow you to climb up the wall. Use ascend in this hidden compartment to climb up through the stone to reveal the treasure chest with the Zonite Waste Guard in it. In order to get the Zonite Helm, warp to the Ross Pro Pass Skyview Tower and launch upwards and start gliding to the south towards the waterfall in the air. Equip your Zora tunic so that you can swim up it and then you'll be on an island with a few minecarts on it. Align a minecart on the tracks and then use a nearby rocket to propel yourself ahead to the next island. Build yourself a flying wing and launch yourself upwards with the help of the runway. This trip is going to be the longest, so bring enough Zonai charges to keep afloat as you fly towards the next clump of islands to the south. Just like in the Water Temple, the air up here has moon physics, so make your way to the island with the Flux Construct on it to find another flying vehicle that's already made for you. Attach the extra batteries and start your vertical flight towards the north, where we'll find Lightcast Island with a giant light facing a cave. Activate the green hand pad and drain the moat and then enter the middle structure. Break the door with the boulder weapon and continue down to find two mirrors. Set up a mirror to reflect light to the east platform and then use a second mirror on that exact platform to reflect light to the next platform in succession, which already has a mirror on it. Take the third mirror and angle it towards the south directly at another mirror. From there, angle the mirror towards a cave to the south and the light will angle downwards towards the ground. Destroy the construct and take his mirror shield to reflect light directly at the orange emblem on the nearby door to open the way and allow you to obtain the Zonite helm within the chest. The Zonite Shin Guards are going to be found northeast of the Great Sky Island near the Sakala Sky Archipelago, so warp there if you have access. If not, launch yourself up from the Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower in the Akala region and make your way over there. Jump off towards the north to land on an island with a flux construct. Head to the square part of that island at the end to find a flying vehicle. Grab all the extra batteries nearby and attach them. Start flying upwards towards the east and you'll see the lowest island has a glowing green hand pad on it. So activate that and it'll unlock all of the launchers on each of the respective islands nearby. Use the launchers to force Link high into the sky to the next island until you make it to the very top island that's littered with stone cubes. It'll be your job to push the middle turn wheel and align the launcher so that it throws a stone cube into the hole on top of the nearby sphere. Once you do so, launch Link into that same hole and place the stone cube on top of the switch to make the sphere start rotating. 
Get to high ground and use Ascend to reach the exterior of the sphere. Your goal here is to locate the hole that's on the bottom half of the sphere and fly inside in order to locate a treasure chest. Open it up to reveal these Zonite Shin Guards. Congratulations, you've now unlocked the whole Zonite set. So now that you have all three pieces of the Zonite armor over here, you're going to be noticing a considerable amount of savings whenever you use all of your Zonite powered vehicles. Right over here in the side by side comparison, I'm going to be showing you the entire Zonai set on one side and Naked Link on the other side. So pay attention to the battery life and how fast it drains when you're not wearing it. So of course you'll be able to see that the entire armor set drains very, very slowly, if not twice as slow, which is amazing for you. And of course the recharge ability, which is the secret ability, recharges the battery a lot faster too when you're in a recovery state. So now that you have the entire set, it's time to go through and upgrade it so that you can get the secret set bonus. Now we're going to have to get that to level 2 in case we wanted to get the fast recharge. But of course, if you didn't already see my tutorial on where to find all the great fairies, you can find them all over. There's only four of them and they're pretty easy to get. Uh, the Great Fairy Fountain, uh, Terra is right over this way. We have Mija right over that way. You've got uh, Kesa over here. And of course, uh, we've got Kotera in this section. So again, playlist in the description for this specific video. But as you guys can see, once we make it to one of the Great Fairy Fountains, you'll be tasked with getting a whole bunch of materials and paying some rupees in order to upgrade. So I'll show you guys exactly what it's going to take to get it to level 2, and I'll show you exactly what you need in order to get it completely maxed out to level 4. In order to unlock the two-star variant and then get the set bonus called Energy Recharge Up, you're going to need to collect a lot of materials. First off, you're going to need 180 rupees. You'll then need 15 of the Soldier Construct Horns. You'll need 15 of the Soldier Construct Two Horns. Heading on over this way, you'll need... 15 of these Captain Construct One Horns, and then of course you're going to need a lot of Zonites, specifically 15 of them. Now, if you want to max this entire gear all the way out to the four star variant right over here like we have right on screen, as you guys can see, it's got some really big defense with 28 defense a piece for a total of 84. Yeah, you're going to want to upgrade this thing, of course. Anyway, the materials that you are going to need entirely uh, just from the very beginning, from level 0 all the way to 4 star, is going to be 2,280 rupees. You're going to need 15 of these Soldier Construct Horns. You'll need 15 of these Soldier Construct 2 Horns. You'll then need 15 of these Captain Construct Horns. Heading on all the way down, you'll also need 15 of these Zonite, 45 large Zonite as well. Heading back over this way, we got a whole bunch of Captain Horns that you're going to need as well. So that is going to be this one right over here. You're going to need the Captain Construct 2 Horn. We'll need 15 of those. You'll need 15 of these Captain Construct 3 Horns. And then, of course, the remaining Soldiers as well. 15 Soldier Constructs 3 Horns, and then 15 Soldier Construct 4 Horns. That's a lot, so find all of those different Constructs in the Great Sky Isles or in the Shrines. And there you have it, the entire Zonai set and its secret ability. I taught you guys everything you need to know about it, so get this armor so that you guys can fly around and explore the depths a lot easier than if you didn't have it. And plus, the fact that it has extra defense more than a lot of the other gear in the game makes it a lot better. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope the video helped you out. If it did, be sure to smash that like button and share the video with a friend. We've got lots more coming your way, and I'm working hard behind the scenes to get it out to you. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Take care.